feeling like a million dollars and some change. Not just a million dollars, a million dollars and some change. It is 7.56. It was not hard to get up this morning because you just don't sleep amazing after kids. You just don't. And when I know that I'm going to a morning class, which has been twice, two times, literally two, I just can't sleep because I'm afraid I'm going to miss it. And my alarm actually was set for Friday. Today's Wednesday, so I would have totally missed, but I got up, I felt great just to have some alone time and start the day, watch the sun come up, but I feel incredible. Everybody, like I said the other day, everybody, I don't know anybody, but everybody has the most incredible energy. They work, everybody works together. Everybody cheers each other on. They're always hyping each other up. I'm just really grateful. I'm grateful this morning. So we have a full day. I'm going to go home, shower, make my coffee. Do you dream? I dream of my coffee. I dream, dream, dream. I'm a little bit behind on dinners. So Monday I made the exact same thing that I made last week. My steak salad that I kind of showed you guys a little clip of. So delish. And while I was making that, Jameson was cooperate, cooperating. So I prepped homemade pico pico de gallo for what was supposed to be yesterday's dinner i did not vlog at all yesterday it was the longest day ever do you know when my favorite motherhood quote that i tell everybody is the days are long but the years are short and the days feel like so long but also a blink of an eye because you feel like you don't have enough time in one day and so much happens and you just compact everything in there and i had no time to even breathe yesterday i wanted to pick up the camera but it was kind of boring we went and did the same thing as last week went to my parents mannix went to the pool with my dad jameson napped i worked on getting to know vlog editing a little bit more and then we just kind of chilled and then came home kind of late last night woke up this morning took class so my, that pico is definitely not going to be good because i don't think i'll be able to make dinner tonight we are going to my sister and brother-in-law's house, they moved here as well. They live about an hour from us. They just closed on their house. They've been building it for um, a handful of months now. I want to—I don't want to say a year, but a very long time, which feels like forever. And they close on it today, and I'm so happy for them. They have two uh, little babies. One is six months, Aiden, and Ava, she is the same age as Jameson gonna be two I almost said two and a half they're gonna be two these next couple months and so it's gonna be really great to get them together Colin is off today and I'm just so happy for them and can't wait to see it so we're gonna get the kids together I'm gonna watch and hang out with them while they do some moving stuff and I will take you guys along with me did not vlog much yesterday because I had four kids. They were so good and they had the greatest time ever playing together as cousins. Mannix is such a good little nurturer. Like he, he took Ava, my niece Ava, right under his wing. Aiden's six months so he's still too little but they had the greatest time ever. They were obsessed when they when we left. We went to get ice cream, you guys saw, and then when we left, Ava was bawling her eyes out. Like, she was so sad. And I thought it was so cute. And Mannix kept saying, Ava, like, it's okay, Ava, Ava. So, I loved it. It was really cute. Mannix is, or Mannix, Colin is off today as well. 
Mannix has a little bit. It's so hard, I can't tell. Is it allergies? Is it a cold? He's just, the doctor told us when we moved here, don't be surprised if he develops all of these new allergies because you guys will be subjected to all these different new plants that you didn't have at home. And I have terrible allergies and I have not developed any allergies since I've moved here, but he seems to be getting pretty affected by everything. So we'll see. We're supposed to go to speech, but I canceled because I just don't want to subject anybody to whatever it is, but I'm going to have to kind of figure it out. So I am at Whole Foods now. I need to get a couple things because I do Amazon shopping and they were out of watermelon and a couple other things. And I'm going to see if I can get him some of that beekeepers natural throat spray that they have. I wanted to order some of that online anyways and their cough syrup. So I'm going to see what they got going on there. I'm gonna, I forgot to put on my, this is my favorite, one of my favorite. I am a lip balm junkie lip gloss. Love this. It's my favorite ever. And it's one of my favorites, but, and it has like, first of all, it smells really good. It, um, like the, we're gonna go that far, the head like goes on like it it's like shaped for your lips which i really appreciate that effort love that effort we love effort around here i also love i never knew how to say it but i think it's laneige their gloss is really good let's see how long this guy stares at me because i'm on my phone and i love i have no idea how to say this one either oh gosh this is embarrassing we'll just do this This is one of my favorites too. I have this one in vanilla and the other one in mint. I use the mint at night in my skincare routine and then I have vanilla for the day. But like I said, I've really been obsessed with this. It's Sorbet Beauty Counter. I um, love a lot of their products. But I, what was I gonna say? I'm just distracted because that guy was staring at me. I'm gonna go into Whole Foods Grocery shopping is so exhausting, but I love being in the kitchen and I do love grocery shopping because I can spend hours in there. But I'm gonna make dinner with you guys tonight, making tacos, yum. My favorite new taco concoction ever. I was seeing the other day, I don't know if I'm gonna include the clip because Jameson had a meltdown. He just needs to be in charge of me. So he freaked out the other night when I was making, I was making the steak salad that I made with that I made last week anyway, so it wasn't anything good, but I was saying how the key to making, like upgrading your recipes is making homemade sauces. So we'll talk about that later, but I'm gonna head in here. Okay, so I just got back from Whole Foods. I wanted to show you, show you guys what I got. I got this brand of cereal. The ingredients are pretty good. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I got that for the kids to try. I got these, I love these, not healthy at all, but these are an easy, quick, I like to have quick little things to make when we are in a rush or if I can't make dinner or if we just want a snack. Uh, this is the brand of milk that I get Mannix and they had this, he's never had chocolate milk, but I wanted to try it, so I got that. I tried the Rosemary Primal Kitchen Mayo and I don't really love it. It's not bad, but the garlic aioli is way better. So I got another one of those. I got some mac and cheese. I thought the farm one would be cool because it's hit or miss with the kids. They're really picky. This is something that they eat every day. Love, love, love these like Pringles. Jameson loves them too. So I got two of those. My favorite nut pods creamer and then I got a ton of chocolate but we'll talk about that Jameson loves these pouches the fruit and veggie I should see if Mannix will take one but probably not <laughs> I got these reusable veggie bags because I hate using the plastic but so I got those I got some chomps that I'm hoping I could try with Mannix 
I've been seeing this brand of gum, so I picked one of these up. Got some chocolate, some dark chocolate peanut butter cups, lilies. I love nuts. I got some white organic California jasmine rice, some bonds of pasta that I like to pull together. These are my favorite shells that I, I like the regular ones, but we've, I've been really into, that's what I'm making tonight for dinner. I'll be using these. So I got a backup one. This is the coffee that I use. They also have dark roast, but the dark roast is, I can't notice the biggest difference, but I don't know, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, but I love this one. I also got these as like a little snack. It's so funny because here's the bag and like what? There's 10 in this whole bag, like that's concerning. And then I got a ton of produce that I haven't unloaded yet, but here's my big watermelon and that's it. So not gonna show you my produce cause I feel like that's silly, but this is the gist of the snacks that I got. I wanted to show these too. My kids love these. I feel like they're the perfect little snack size too. And honestly, I love them. They're really yummy. Obviously, I would love an entire box of these, really, because there's only eight in there. I could totally do eight on a Friday night, <laughs> but they're really good. So if you see these, definitely grab them and try them. to catch up on it's like not overwhelming because I feel like taking a little break from being here sometimes you just get out of your house and just ignore it all hi Dookie. he looks exhausted oh just about that time I just ordered some lunch because I cannot do grocery shopping and cook dinner and cook lunch and I'm so excited because we had this the other night I'm still exploring around here it's obnoxious how much Uber Eats costs. It's like $30 and then you go to check out and it's like $60 and you're like, ugh. But sometimes you just gotta do it. And I know this is so delish. So I got a Greek salad, some tzatziki and some hummus. I will show you guys that when I get it. It looks so good. The dressing is to die for. And I didn't know this, but I'm coming. I didn't know this, but Greek salads get Greek potato salad, yeah. bomb, game changer. So just a reminder here, drink your water. Well. Water. Are you ready to take a nap? Are you ready to take a nap? Wow, chug it, chug it, chug it. He's been super cooperative today. No. Super cooperative today. Are you ready to take a nap? Nap? No. <gasps> oh my god, this looks so bomb. I put it in my own bowl because it was leaking everywhere. So they put their Greek, oh, bless you, Greek potato salad, feta. These are like pita sticks and tomatoes, cucumbers, kamal ato, olives, and red onion. I put these in the kids bowl because they were leaking too because they put them in styrofoam. But this is fresh hummus, tzatziki, this is the dressing, and then tons of fresh pita. And I didn't open Collins yet. I'm still putting everything away. 
I guess this is Collins. I thought I got a, a Greek Euro, but they look like two little mini ones, but it looks delish. Dinosaurs. Mannix and I just did this puzzle. What kind of dinosaur is this? Triceratops. Triceratops. What about this one? Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. What about this one? What about this one? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Who's that? This one. Good job. High five. Wow. I love that. Okay, so I love making my pico de gallo homemade. I have cilantro, a little bit of red onion. I like the tomatoes cut bigger. I used like two and a half of the, I had like, I have the tomatoes on the vine. And then I used, it, the best thing about it is once you stir it, you can add more if you want. Then I'm gonna add some garlic salt and then I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator. I always make this first so that it's nice and cold by the time it's done. We're gonna go. I forgot, and I did a whole lime because it wasn't very, it was kind of dry. Usually, depending like if the lime is more ripe or not, you can use half, but just depending on what you like. <laughs> 